everybody. My name is Tobias and thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, in this live video I thought I'll give you the title of today's video first so you know what I'm going to talk about and then I'll give you the introduction after. <laughs> All right. So today or in this live video um, I will talk about giving yourself the permission to think bigger, think uh, differently than anybody around you. That, yeah. Make your own thoughts and your own decisions when it comes to furthering your creativity, your art career, stepping into your career, or for example, thinking about what education to take, to take your art career further, or to start it. All right, so that's what I'm gonna talk about now. So, uh, as you know, my name is Tobias. Uh, if you've watched any of my other live videos before, you know, I come here uh, come to you from beautiful Norway here today it is uh, autumn but it's sunny today for once and it's a storm so instead of being by the ocean which is behind the cabin here I'm actually having to stand here in a corner uh, because here is like the least wind I don't know if you see the tree move there behind me <laughs> that's yeah also it's uh, like that it's sunny so if I go out like this you probably hear the wind and see the sun this is probably not working all right Oof. so I hope I hope it's possible to record this video here because I can't really record it inside no space in our little cabin um, yeah so I hope this works <laughs> all right so again my name is Tobias I talk about creativity and I talk about uh, art and how to find your heart find your voice and express it in art creativity even if other people don't understand you whether that is music like in my case whether that is uh, maybe painting or writing poems or I don't know your art your expression um, yeah you know what's on your heart I don't so um, if you've watched any of my other videos you know I often talk about like that you as an artist if you're like anything like me, you have like a gentle soul, an artistic, soft soul. So it's different than other people. You you might be less uh, a goal getter. You might be more like, yeah, you're just trying to be at peace with everybody, be at peace with yourself, and create art, um, which might not always be working so well because obviously life and other people have different opinion and everything is happening and there might be some conflicts or something and then maybe you stop creating like what I did or you change your career like what I did uh, so that's what I want to talk about uh, I want to tell you a story actually two, two stories from when I was growing up and uh, one, one from me and one that I heard afterwards from another uh, woman or girl at the time growing up and also trying to pursue creativity and yeah so I hope this works with the wind and the noise and everything here yeah so um, when I grew up I knew from a young age that I wanted to make music I want to travel the world want to make people happy forget their worries uh, at least for a moment at least for the time the music lasts um, but ultimately I also believe in God and I felt there's like something spiritual on it and um, ultimately I, I believe we all should be happy 24 <laughs> 7 um, that was at least my very childish idea back then and nobody really understood that nobody supported that and everybody around me in my family they're all like engineers even some of the women I work as engineers and uh, technical things and most people around me were into sports especially guys were into sports uh, technical things and were quiet and didn't like to talk so I just had very limited amount of friends uh, and the older I grew grew and the more resistance I got to talking about like I want to be a musician maybe a drummer maybe a DJ maybe a rapper uh, figured I couldn't sing so well so singer wasn't an option but that was like the only accepted thing to be a singer and if you go to church, you can sing in church. Mm -hmm. That wasn't my plan, so I didn't know what to do. So, obviously, like I said in the other videos before, I worked as a graphic designer eventually, which is still kind of creative, but also technical. 
But the point I'm making, I'm trying to make in this video is that when people... Wow, that's really windy here. Do you see that? When people, like teachers or other people in school, would talk about what job you should get, I never had a dream job, okay? I always knew I want to work with music. Like, music was the only class in school where I was like the best student, <laughs> almost at least. Um, and I, at least I enjoyed it the most. So, but that was not even a music teacher would encourage to go into a music career because there are no options like that. Um, at least that's what everybody kept on saying. So, my ideas of what to do, what to work with, I don't know, I didn't have any. Because my number one choice wasn't possible. And I was just like always, I don't know, maybe my parents broke me at a young age? No, probably not. <laughs> but I was like, I was trained to be like a nice child, uh, kind of, a nice person. Like I said, I'm, maybe it's also the artistic soul, you don't try to offend people. You don't try to be a rebel, even though that's very popular with some artists and some creative people. Obviously, that's the whole idea. Um, but I wasn't like that. So I always understood, like, okay, I want to be at peace with everybody. So if people, like my parents when I was growing up, obviously, told me to be quiet and be in my room and play, uh, like with toys or something, I would do that. I would do that for hours, and I was content. That, of course, also was how they approached and how I approached life. So if my parents said, oh, well, you should be maybe trying out to become an electrician or work with, I don't know, metal or wood or, I don't know, learn how to cut trees and, and garden. I was like, there were so like many practical, technical jobs and opportunities around me. And I was like, I, I'm not talented at any. I tried them all uh, at a young age, like not as a job, but like, you know, join the uncle, join the dad on different tasks and do different things. Uh, help people fixing up a house and finding it's not for me. So, yeah, I didn't know what to do because I was thinking that I had to, I don't know, if you talk in really child language, I was thinking I would have to obey my parents, um, which is true to a certain degree. But of course, when you grow up, you make your own decisions. And I wasn't, I don't know, I, I thought, I, I never thought about it back then. I was just following. I didn't develop my own thoughts. I didn't develop that I could have permission to think differently, to make decisions that other people maybe don't understand and then have to explain them. Uh, and if they still don't understand them, I could still go and do it. So for me, it was like, okay, I have an idea. I try to explain it, to reason to other people. And if they understand it and they think it's a good idea, then I would do it. But if they don't think it's a good idea, I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't pursue it. That's my mindset. When I was a teenager, when I was a young adult, growing up, like from 15 to 20 or something, I was stuck mentally in that. So, what changed me when I was 20 is a different story and it included moving to Norway, leaving Germany and my family behind, and I made making a bold decision and that actually paid off. Um, so it took me all the way until I was 20 or 21 to actually become bold and kind of stand up for my ideas and make decisions and follow through with them even though others don't understand them. Um, but mentally I never had permission, like, ah. Uh. And now, just to illustrate what I mean quickly, second story, there was another girl, um, some years younger than me, she was kind of a friend of my sister. Um, and when I had already moved to Norway or something, so when she was turning 18 then or something, I was maybe 21 or 2 or something, but then I heard that, uh, the story kind of, that she had always, just like also my sister and many of the other girls that were like younger, they were all, they, many of them were into like uh, dancing, um, often in, in like uh, church or other things like that. So you would go to dance class and then you would study in some songs and yeah. So I remember my sister and also that other girl always talking about they would like to, to dance. Like if you ask them what they want to do with uh, as a job in their life, they would like to dance. And my sister never really, just like me, never really pursued that. Uh, even though she always talked about that she wants to do something with dancing. 
And she still kind of is to a degree. She's still teaching classes every now and then, I think. But it's not like a full-time career. She works with something else. That other girl, I heard later, like I said, when I was already living in another country, I heard later that she decided to pursue the dancing. And since there are no like official accredited educations that the government or schools support in Germany, for like music or dancing, which was my problem, no music or art school like that. There are, there are actually some private schools, like one or two or three, I don't know. Uh, I never looked into that because like I said, my mindset was if it's not possible and if the government and the state doesn't support it and accredit it, then it doesn't exist. That's what I was told. So engineering and technical jobs and gardening and everything was accredited and you can get a official education, but private schools, private studies, that kind of was, didn't exist in anybody's mindset, in my family, in myself, and my surroundings. But that girl, she decided, well, she got to move from the south of Germany to Hamburg in the north of Germany, uh, as like an 18, 19 year old, leave her family behind to study at a private um, musical and theater academy to become a dancer. And um, like I said, that is a thought that has never crossed my mind when I was growing up. So I would have never even considered that. But had I had that thought and had mentally given myself permission to think and find solutions that are different than the established paths and then pursue them, wow. I don't know how my life would be looking today, but I know that I would have been doing much more with music and art consistently in my entire life. That I know. Then again, I wouldn't probably be here talking to you about this if I wouldn't have those life lessons. So that's a good thing to do. But my point is, if you're growing up, whether you're 16 or like me, 36, <laughs> um, or if you're 66, I don't care. If you want to pursue your art and nobody else around you understands it and supports you, I want to encourage you to find ways to do it. Give yourself permission to think big and do it. So in my mind, I admire like 18 year olds who are so bold that, okay, they understand that they can move out from home. They are legally not kids anymore. They can legally make their own decisions. And then they pursue their art career. Well, and that, even if that includes moving to another country or moving to like across the country to a school and having to pay a lot and lot of money to get that education and of course there's no guarantee that you get a job or that you get income sorry i don't know how the wind is but it's really loud here. really loud here <laughs> uh, something was flying into my face yay Whew. but that is my core message for you today and i hope you were able to understand it despite the wind and the storm and everything and yeah Give yourself the permission to be creative and follow your dreams even if others don't understand it. And that goes for no matter how old you are, whether it's your wife or your husband or your parents or your friends. Um, if you have something on your heart that's a bit different than what they think is a normal job or a normal hobby and you want to pursue creativity, then go and do it. You have the responsibility for your own life and you can do it. All right. Find a way that works for you, for your situations, but give yourself permission to think bigger than you've ever thought before. You don't have to live where you live. You don't have to stay where you are right now. You can move, you can change. So go ahead and do it if that's the right thing to do. Give yourself permission to think outside the box because your heart is longing for it. Your gentle soul is maybe very gentle at telling you that, but I believe it is. And if it is, then you have to be bold enough to listen and to make those decisions. All right. With that, have a blessed day. Sunday here, so have a blessed Sunday. <laughs> Bye.